Hey there guys and welcome to today's video and today I thought I'd give you a quick first look at Tweetbot 4. Um, I absolutely love Tweetbot, I've always used it for my Twitter accounts and they've just released 4 and I have to say I'm really really impressed with it so I just thought I'd do you a quick like first look at and show you some of the features. And this is what it looks like when you first launch it, so it looks similar to how it did before. Um, but you can change the writing now, I think this is the easy. San Francisco font that you've got now, but you've still got your normal um, count at the top as well. Then um, your mentions, they're all the same, you can see all your mentions, and your DMs are the same as well. And this is a new bit, and this is activity. And this is basically like any notification you get, so if someone follows you, if someone retweets you, if someone favourites you, it will all show here, and you get a little emblem, so you can see here, that one's a reply, so it's a little bubble, chat bubble, someone's followed, someone's favourited, so you've got a star, if it's a retweet, it's in blue, so you can see at a glance the um, different activity that's happened, and if you want to tap on it, you can do, you just tap on it, and you can um, either, oops, let's just, let me find a different one, like that you can tap on it and it'll show the conversations and you can reply from there as well if you want to or you can just do it from your mentions and um, so you can see that someone replied to a tweet that i sent so there's that and then at this side here there is stats and these are your stats so this is today's activity and so so far this morning you can see you've had three favorites one retweet and no, <clears throat> no new people following me got a frog in my throat now um so 10 different activities all together and then it'll show you what's being favorited what's been retweeted or favorited again the one here for today and then it'll carry on for those that happen tomorrow as well so this is quite interesting it's good to see how a tweet um goes once you've tweeted it out so if you're wanting to check your stats and see how well a tweet actually gets noticed and if it gets lots of favorites and retweets as well this is going to be great for you and if you're interested well in seeing how your activity is and how many favorites and tweets you get and followers each day then you can check that each day as well so i thought it was a nice feature it's a lot better than the stats on the official twitter app because i used to check them from time to time with my youtube video tweets and i really like the activity as well so just in case you do mention uh, miss someone like favoriting or retweeting you can see it here as well so i like that then the last one is the profile which has changed slightly now which means I'm going to have to redo my cover photo, I think. That's no good. But that's what it looks like now, which is nice. Then here it shows a few of your recent tweets at the bottom on your profile and then some of your pictures. And if you want to see all of them again, you just go to your tweets there and it will show all your tweets that you've done. And you can see what list you're on as well there. So your lists are nice and easy to get to. And then if you want to look at your followers and followers, you can just tap on them as you would normally. And you can see all your followers and you can follow back from there. If you want to edit it again, you just press that button there and you can change it as normal. Um, but I like that layer. I think it looks nice, a lot clearer. And it's great to see some of the recent tweets that people have done rather than having to go and read them all. So you're not seeing all I call the mentions and things. So if you look here, it's obviously your profile shows all the app mentions. Whereas if you look at this, it's just showing the tweets that they've actually done. So you, do, you don't have to skip past all the mentions and conversations that other people have had if you're wanting to check out someone's profile before you follow them so so far i'm quite impressed that you can also now reply from a notification which is perfect so if you haven't got time to access twitter but you can pull the notification down um on screen and reply without even opening tweetbot which i really like that's so cool so i was happy with that and so overall yes i'm pretty impressed with it i'm gonna have another go with it again today and start seeing what else it can do um, but i'm absolutely loving it it is just a really, really cool app. I've always liked Tweetbot anyway, but this is just really nice and refreshed. It's a nice, um, fresh look to the updated Tweetbot 3. So check it out. If you do, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.